Richie, another big event coming up in Yeovil in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, how much are you looking forward to, to being back down there? Yeah, I really am, Josh, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it was great playing at Blackpool. Um, and now it's really given me the hunger to, to get back to get on that main stage. And uh, it's going to be a great game against Bob. Yeah, I mean, we have to talk about Bob Anderson. We've we've just spoken to him and it's obviously going to be his last game in professional darts. How much of an honour is it for you to be playing what could be Bob's final game on, on the stage? Yeah, enormous. I mean, um, Bob is a, a proper, proper legend. He's done so much for darts over the years. And uh, it's going to be very sad to, for him to be playing in his last tournament. Um, I'm hoping it's his last game, but you don't know that. Um but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be sad. But um, he, he's done himself proud over the years. Mm. What are your memories of, of Bob, really? Because when we spoke to him, he described you as a as a youngster. There's still significant <laughs> years between yourself and Bob. So, what are your memories of him? Because uh, I'm sure you would have watched him on the telly for years. Yeah, I, I, I did watch. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, Josh. I, I didn't actually really start playing darts till I was 42, which was about. 2008 or 2009 so mm. although I used to watch darts I wasn't uh, a fanatical darts fan and I obviously remember all, all the, the top players of the time Bob and and, and Eric and all the others and uh, yeah obviously the, the, the classic one was Bob walking on at the tavern with his horse and uh, so yeah he's, he's a, a big thing Bob He's promised that there'll be no horse this time in Yeovil so that makes it a bit easier no, that's good. Especially if I have to call on the second, in case he's left anything behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a really big 18 months, two years for yourself, obviously runner-up in two of the big majors on the seniors. Did you sort of see this come in two years ago, that you were going to start and be a big, big thing in these senior events? No, never in a million years. Um I've, I've always enjoyed my darts. Um, never really reached what I thought what, what my potential was and, and maybe I sort of resigned myself to the fact I'll just carry on playing um, my county darts uh, and, and tournaments and then so then the seniors came along and um, my wife got me a ticket for the very first one for my birthday which I wasn't really going to even go to uh, won that qualified for the tavern and as you say the last 18 months has just spiralled really and um, probably playing some of the best darts I've ever played which uh uh, which is great. Mm. Is it a real incentive to practice as well when you're getting the results and you're throwing your best darts and the rewards are there to play the big names and play on some big stages? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've always been a good practicer. I can practice on my own for, for quite a few hours on end without getting bored. So I, I always put a lot of practice in. But, but this definitely... Um, inspires you more uh, and gets you a lot more hungry and, and wanting to get sharp because you, you want to go up on that stage and you want to play as best as you can. You don't want to um, go up there and, and fizzle out. You, you want to win them. Like, like all, all the guys on the on the competition, they all want to win the, these big ones. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned before, you've been a runner-up in two of the big tournaments. What do you think the missing ingredient is to get over that line and get that first big victory? To be honest, I, I don't really think there's anything missing, to be honest with you. After I came up against um, a, a very good Robert Fulton, and the, the, well, he's always good, Robert, that uh, mm -hmm. went quite away in front of me at the tavern, so it was hard to catch him up. Uh, and again, when I played Leonard in the final at Blackpool, I let him get way too far in front. It was 7-1 um, before I knew it, and although I pulled it right back at the end, um, I just probably give myself too much to do, but I, I don't think there's anything missing, and I, and I think that if I can play my game, I, I know I've got more in the tank to come, and I still see no reason me picking up on these titles. To be honest, lovely stuff. Cheers, Richie. Thanks, Josh. Hi, Richie. Uh, two finals so far this year already on the um, senior circuit. Do you think that this will be the tournament you finally get over the line? Hi, oh, Harry. Um, yeah, it's a lot of pressure, to be honest with you. Everyone keeps saying, oh, this one's your one, this one's your one. But to, to be honest, it's so hard just to get to the final, uh, let alone thinking you're going to win it. Um, it, it. As I said, there's no reason why I can't win this this next one. But there's going to be a, a lot of good players that's going to stand in the way. So you just got to take it one game at a time and, and, and try your best, really. 
Does playing in competitions such as the Moda Super Series get you a bit more sharper for these sort of events? Yeah, 100% it does. Um, you're playing against a very high standard of player. Um, and uh, you can't afford to, to take your foot off the gas, which uh, I maybe have done it a couple of times on the, the Super Series and got punished for it. But, um, yeah, it definitely sharpens you up. Match practice is, is far more better than standing in a board on your own and, and, and throwing darts at it. And finally, from me, what are you expecting from Bob Anderson in the first rounds? I, I know that, I mean, I, I've not played Bob before. Um, I've been in say, a few tournaments where he's been in, and I can honestly say he's probably the most competitive guy I've ever seen. When he comes off that stage, if he's lost, he's absolutely fuming. So I know he's going to be giving it 100% to try and beat me. And, I, and I've got to keep my foot on the gas and, and, and try and, and play well to, to beat him. Thank you, Richie. Thank you. Hi, Richie. Um, how important is it for you not to get caught up in the emotion of the occasion against Bob and make sure that you, you do as professional a job as possible? Hi, Jamie. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's going to be very hard. It's going to have a lot of the crowd um, cheering for him, his, his home sort of area. Um, and it is, it's going to be very hard because you play someone that's been right at the top uh, and they're they're bowing out. You, it's I want to win. I trust me. I really want to win this, but it is going to be horrible if I do. Really, but, um, you just got to you just got to try and blank it out and, and get out there and look at that ball and play your own game. Because your record is so good in the seniors, people kind of expect you to go deep in these tournaments. Now, does that bring a different sort of pressure on you at all? Yeah, it does. Yeah, everybody say keeps saying to me, "Oh, this one's going to be yours. This one's going to be yours." And there's a lot of guys that are going to going to be trying to stop everybody. Everyone wants to win it, and they're all going to be playing their best starts. So if I can run deep in it, I'll be very happy. But I'm, I'm no way expecting to, to, to get to the final and win it. I'll just be trying to win every game at a time. And the seniors concept's taken off really quickly. It gets great viewing figures on TV. How has it changed your sort of approach to darts? And, and do you kind of get recognised when you're out and about and stuff like that now? Yeah, I mean... Um, it, it 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 is a bit surreal, really. I've got so many messages and and uh, friend requests on social media, and and people want to buy your your shirts and your darts. Uh, and as I say, locally, I've been recognised when I'm out, and it, it is a bit strange, but um, it's it's nice because everybody likes a pat on the back. And if you're playing well, uh, and and people are, are cheering you on and happy to see you win, it's, it's a fantastic feeling, especially. At 57, I never thought I'd be doing that at, at my age, really. So everything's really good. Yeah, the Circus Tavern's kind of your your backyard. Your villa is Bob's closest venue. So are you expecting to be a bit of a, a pantomime villain on this occasion or will you have um, a band of fans coming down with you? Um, hopefully there'll be a few people there. But yeah, I, I fully expect to be the pantomime villain, <laughs> especially if I manage to get the win. I don't think I'm going to be very popular, but... I can't worry about it. <laughs>